a brine is like something else. Dude. All right, like, you guys. So uh, one of the most important things is to make sure that these fish are on ice at yeah. all times. We're gonna put some uh, salt water in there with that ice, and it makes it, you know, colder than freezing. So when you go to clean them, the meat's real, real solid, and you'll be able to clean them real easily. It's all right. Super easy. So here we go. You guys, you wanna make sure your knife's real good and sharp. I like to use a sharpening stone. Some people use steel. It's all up to you, man. As long as that, as long as that knife is good and sharp. All right. I'm gonna rinse that off. And let's go. Let's get one of them snappers. So we're gonna show you how to clean the snapper. Show that snapper. Look at this. Like always here, we got tequila the cat <laughs> ready, waiting for the scraps She's right there. Ready, man. And guys, what when when I say she'll eat everything, she'll eat the entire carcass, the skull and everything. She'll eat all of it. It's crazy. Alright, Tiki, here we go. Alright, so guys, on these mangrove snapper, there's a little there's a little bone right here okay that's where you're gonna start your your cut right here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut through the skin first you're not gonna go all the way through the fish okay so just through the skin what we're gonna do is we're gonna come next to this backbone here where these spines are okay we're gonna come right up next to that and then you're gonna find yourself the backbone okay all right <laughs> So what we do here, push on this meat, guys, as you're angling your knife, yeah? So you're gonna angle your knife in and up just a little bit. So we get right up on these bones, okay? Get right up against the spine, you can get the most meat possible out of these fish. Exactly. Now some people will turn this fish around, but me, I like to just go straight past this rib cage until the knife comes out this side right here, all right? Then you're gonna go ahead and just feel the backbone Coming down towards the tail, leave it right here. Then you're gonna flip your knife. You're gonna cut straight through all those bones right there. And if you see, we have all bones, no all meat this. right here, okay? Yep. So then what I like to do here is I like to take this here. I like to leave it attached to the tail so I have something to hold on to, okay? And then you're just gonna take your knife, push to the skin, and you're gonna come all the way down. All right, so basically what you have is, you have your filet. The skin is off your filet, and you're good to go. Cut it off, give it to tequila. That's right, tequila the cat will take, yeah, the, take care skin. of the rest. So then obviously we have our rib cage here, okay? Nobody and likes the bones. No one likes the bones, especially yeah. in my house, man. <laughs> yeah. So basically what we do is we're gonna take that, make it, make it cut right there along the blood vein. Okay. We don't like the bloodline either. We're gonna take that off. And this whole rib cage, guys, I just take that whole thing off. Full of bones. Yep. There's a decent amount of meat. Some people like to mess with that. I don't. So I take that whole thing and I give it to Keel the cat. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> and then you have your filet right there. We're gonna put that back on the ice. Put yep. that in some fish tacos. Yeah. So same thing on the other side, guys. You're gonna find that little that little bone right there. Cut through the skin. You guys should do like a, um, like fast, like a time lapse. Like you guys like flaying all the fish. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. All right, so then we're gonna come again, right along the bones, guys. Flip that knife around, go straight through the skin, all the way up to the tail and stop, come on back. Look at that cat devour all that. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, she don't play. And then boom, there we go again. So just all we're left with here is bones. And we take the rest of our meat and cut it off that skin. Again, some people like to scale the snapper, keep the skin on. For me, guys, anytime you leave skin on a fish, it's going to make it more taste more fishy. Fish. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm not doing it. All right. So here we go again. Cut the blood vein. Just like you would do on a dolphin. Except the snapper have bones all the way up into here. And we're just gonna take that whole rib cage and cut it off. Again, if you guys, some of you like think that's a bit of a waste, that's fine, you can mess with that. The bones are only on this surface and you could probably just take 
and do one of these and get another chunk of meat there. But again, I usually don't mess with that. Yeah. That's for tequila. Yeah. More for you. Yeah. And the bigger snapper are gonna have a little bone right in here too. So you're just gonna get rid of that. And then boom, there's your filet. Just take your filet there, and just put it back in your ice salt water brine. That's gonna keep them nice and cool. Nice and cool. Alright, so let's do a look down. Yeah, now we're gonna show you guys a look down. Different species. Yeah, completely different species. Part of a whole different family too. They're actually part of the Jack family. 